Welcome to this episode of DIY3dtech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at cleaning the nozzle out. So in the last episode on the Fabricator Mini, we cleaned the cog gear on the extruder. This episode, we're going to clean out the nozzle, and we're going to use one of these .40 drills to do that. So now you got to be careful. This thing is hot. I've heated this up to um, 200 degrees C, uh, PLA temperature. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to take this and insert this into the nozzle. Now this takes a little bit of doing and especially not to burn yourself and so um, again I've ratcheted this up so I can reach my hand in here hopefully without burning myself. I typically do burn myself once or twice and finding the opening isn't that easy so don't be surprised you kinda just gotta poke around. Now one of the things that you want to do is make sure is you're okay so I've now got now I've got it in the opening so it is a drill so you kinda want to spin it again be very careful this is hot this is heated up and, and you want to make sure to keep the drill straight do not move it sideways and twist it because then what you'll do is you'll uh, make the um, nozzle oblong shape because this this is a brass nozzle that I'm dealing with. I believe it's a brass. That's what it looks like. And so again, I'm just making sure that the nozzle itself is cleaned out of any debris. And then what I'm going to do is after I do this, I take and I push through uh, a fair amount of material. As you see, I'm I'm pushing through this material. So I want to make sure that this is any obstructions being pushed out with it. Now you can also remove the nozzle and if it gets really clogged bad you can remove the nozzle and clean it out. Um, and I've done that uh, on a few times. The Wanhao gets like that with its all metal hot end a lot of times switching between different filaments but then now you know I can take this and basically toss that away. Um, so anyways I'll, I'll put a link I think I've showed these before on the one how that, but I'll put a link below um, to these. I got these on Amazon, so these these are really handy to have, and especially if you just get like a small plug in the nozzle or something like that, or you don't think you're getting good flow, it's just a real simple thing to do. Now it's a little bit more difficult with the Fab Mini because it's got this cage. You kind of get your get your hand in. My hand's rather large, and so it's hard to to really get in there easily. And that's one of the reasons I want to show it on this. Um, however, it's an effective kind of quick and dirty way to clean things up. Again, if it gets really bad, you have to take it out and, and you know go from the back side. And, and I've had them actually plug that bad before. So, anyways, hey, if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Whoops, get in frame here. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. You'd like to see anything else? And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.